Well, Michigan Representative Alyssa Slotkin met with Michigan voters to outline her latest legislative priority. She held a roundtable discussion to talk about prescription drug costs. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live in Rochester right now with a breakdown of Slotkin's plan. Brian? Well, she plans on letting this impeachment inquiry process in Congress play out in the individual com committees while she focuses on her job, including those priorities. One big one, that prescription drug cost reform bill that she says and hopes will pass Congress, at least the House, in the next couple of weeks. Number one is that it allows Medicare to negotiate for drug prices. Eighth District Representative Alyssa Slocken today in Rochester, holding a health care roundtable discussing her HR3 prescription drug cost bill. It would index pricing of drugs to an average of what the price is around the world. The bill that requires doctors to give upfront drug pricing expected to hit the House floor for a vote in the next few weeks. In the meantime, the pushback from the pharmaceutical industry, Slotkin says, and the lobbying has begun. Eighth District voters at the meeting applauding Slotkin's efforts. Because nobody is controlling the people who are putting the price on these medicines. And in the case of somebody who requires insulin, it's extortion. The Congresswoman signaling the real hurdle will be the Senate. I'm hoping that both Democrats and Republicans in the Senate will put pressure on Senator McConnell to actually do something that affects people's pocketbooks and their kids. The push coming as Congress tries to continue work in the midst of the impeachment inquiry that Slocken recently signed off on. I made a very difficult decision. I made a very controversial decision. Um, I made it because I felt like our national security and my oath of office was at stake. But I'm not on the committees of jurisdiction, and we have to be able to walk and chew gum. Now, she says she will read every word of the committee's reports with, quote, an open mind objectively when it's all done. Now, she says the most near-term fight for her, however, is clean water here in Michigan. She hopes to take to Congress a push to make sure that the budget, Pentagon's budget, has PFAS contamination language in it to fight for that. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Certainly a lot on her plate. Thank you so much, Brian, for the live report.